Welcome to another edition of the Over Under Game. I'm Jared Johnson. And for those unfamiliar with uh, this, this feature, it goes back years. Uh, one of our favorite posters, one of our longtime subscribers, Job Burrs, uh, likes to ask you know the staff these over under questions during football season, especially. And it's you know, usually ask them in the in our mailbag question thread, on, you know, on the side on the insider. But that uh, during the season we get so many questions, and I, I really enjoy this. I think he does such a good job asking these questions that I like to make this its own separate story. So. With that, let's dive into Jobbers' questions for the Texas Tech-West Virginia game, which, by the way, 4.30 p.m. Central Time kickoff Saturday at the Jones in Lubbock. All right, first one is West Virginia throws for 300 yards. That's a tough one. And Jared Dagey, Lubbock's own, coming back home, you know, uh, starting for West Virginia against a Tech secondary that, you know, is playing better, but still it has struggled at times. You know, West Virginia really is no more right now for playing defense and running the ball, but... I do think Tech's going to load up to stop Lady Brown. West Virginia is very good running back. And so I think there's going to be some passing opportunities for, for Daigie, who's going to be very uh, motivated in this game for the reasons already mentioned. Uh, you know, and his coach, Neil Brown, he was here when Jarrett was growing up here in Lubbock. You know, he was the offense coordinator for Tech. He's very aware of what all that means for Jarrett Daigie. Uh, I think I think 300, not too much more over 300, but I do think Jarrett throws for 300 against Texas Tech. All right, the next one comes, uh, or the next one is West Virginia runs for 180 yards. Now, you would think this would be a no-brainer. Like, yeah, you know, West Virginia, you know, Lady Brown, he's very good, but I'm not ready to say that. I think they run for 150, 160. I still think Brown has a good game, but I'm not ready to say that West Virginia is going to run for 180 yards on Texas Tech this week. I think Tech's really going to make a concerted effort to stop the run, make Jared Deg Deggy beat them, and I don't know you know that's it's debatable on if Deggy can do that or not, but uh, I think that's that's my personal opinion. That's not inside knowledge. That's just what I think they're going to do in terms of a game plan. All right, Texas Tech to run for 130 yards. Now you know against most teams, I would say yeah they do it. You know I think there's two teams that I'm like mm, I don't know, and it's Iowa State, and then it's West Virginia. So I think that's a really good number because I could see Tech running for 125 or maybe even 135. Uh, or 140, but this uh, 130 number is a really good one from Job Burrs. So I'm going to say over, and I think it's going to be uh, my the, my reason why it's going to come later in these questions. Uh, but I think it's not all going to come from the running back if that tells you anything. All right, Texas Tech forces two turnovers. You know, uh, they haven't really forced a lot of turnovers. They've had you know they have some. They have one against Iowa State. Um, you know, forced a fumble, but I really don't. I don't think so. I think they they force one again. I don't see two. So I'm going to go under. Texas Tech forces just one turnover against West Virginia this week. All right, the final one, and this one plays in my the rushing question earlier is Henry Columbia, the new quarterback for Tech, rushes for 30 yards. Uh, I'm going to go over because I think there's going to be a lot of times against West Virginia where they're going to have everything covered up because they're a really good defense, and he's going to have to tuck and run. And I think he's had some success doing that. So I can see him getting nine yards here, eight yards there, moving the chains. And then I think there will be a couple of times where he pulls the ball and, uh, you know, and he'll, he'll get some good, good gains in their read option game. Now, the flip side of that is I think uh, West Virginia is going to get some sacks, I mean, at least one or two. On them. I mean, I think they're the best in the league in terms of – Generating sacks. Now, Tech is the best in terms, of, or yeah, Tech's, I believe, is the best or among the best in terms of not allowing sacks. So, something's got to give there, but I could see at least one or two uh, sacks for West Virginia, which will hurt Columbia's rushing total. But yeah, I think 30 is a good number. I could see him rushing for about 35 or 40 yards. So, it should be a good game. Like I said, kickoff is scheduled for 4 30 Central Time Saturday at the Jones in Lubbock. So, with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.